Hello, everybody. Welcome back. We are going into the end bits of today's episode of Blood Letters. Um, I feel like I have an important role to make. <laughs> There's yeah, some, and some ghost we, shit going on. <laughs> <laughs> we should uh, we should cut briefly on that exciting moment of firing. Uh, I don't think it's gonna matter, but um, Oscar got a crit on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On his entry into the into the um, munitions car, so uh, is there a an extra benefit uh, that you would like from from that that you have in mind, Strash? Um, I I don't think it impacts Cantor, but just in case, I thought we would. We yeah, would well, we should. Yeah, see what happens. I uh, think that you, can, uh, you can you uh, can either we do it quickly or much more importantly, and this is really where I want to land. When we go in, we're in a slightly more controlled position. Yeah, I think that's a good choice. Yeah, I, yep. I was thinking that whoever's inside would be afraid of whatever's coming, and they've backed up, or you you, you got in faster than they expected, and they're just. I not would say it's yeah, it's like a it's like a SWAT breach. Like the you clear the door as the team swarms at the nice. same time. instead um, of two action. It's like the door is moving out of the way as the crew like. Takes. Nice. Well, I'm glad we have extra crew there now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so you maintain the initiative is what I would call that. Yeah, that's good. I like that. Okay. Uh, okay, but yeah, that means Cantor, <laughs> you're on your own. Okay. Uh, as, as Sorry, we... bud. That's okay. That's fine. Um, I believe in you. That's good. Oh, uh, you, you totally got this. So you're blasting this ghost with your fancy new ammo. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's not trying to avoid you. It's moving steadily in a straight line directly at you to seize your life force for its own. Get some. Uh, I think it's not desperate. It's risky, uh, but it's not desperate. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and you have electroplasmic ammo. It's great, great effect. On okay. this code. All right. So risky, great effect. Uh, Blast it. Yeah, I've got, I've got th three dice. I don't think I need a devil's bargain here. Unless somebody yeah, has I, one that jumps out at them. I mean, the obvious one is that you like draw more attention to yourself. Yeah, I was going to say I get that, out of that situation. Not <laughs> yeah, you're, it. Well, you could raise the, 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 the glow clock that's at three ticks right now. The, the, not specifically to yourself, but to all of us, you could, you could add yeah, another clock on that. You could finish it off and, and uh, be like, fuck it, whatever ghosts are coming. Let's just get this over with. Uh, mm. That's true. That's true. You can do that. No, I don't think it's worth an extra die. I think having the time, like my, my personal struggle with this ghost buying the time for the other two of you to like keep doing the job. Um, okay. Yeah. I'd rather deal with that. Cause I'm not, I'm not hurt at all and I can, I can take a hit. So, uh, cool. All right. Oh, I'm rolling so bad today. Fuck. <laughs> Where are those Cantor Hague Fuck crits? me. Yeah. Well, all well, these guys are using up all the sixes. That's fine. Got, this is just Cantor's very over. bad, shitty, no good day. Was yeah. it by yourself? I am not a desert creature. <laughs> This is not your native environment. No, I seriously. I am not a desert creature yeah. is my new favorite canter quote. That's right. I, I have had it up to fucking here with this desert bullshit. <laughs> fucking ash everywhere. Ghosts. Gets in your cracks. Fucking, gets in... Seriously. I, ugh. Yeah. That's right. So, so I got a four. So. If I was a very, very mean GM, I would be like, yeah, you blow away the ghost, but the consequence is he pushes you down to the ravine. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> not again yeah, not again god damn it <laughs> i hate this ravine yeah i take uh racial enemy ravines <laughs> no I'm, I'm gonna say i'm gonna say reduced effect uh instead of killing it outright you blast it and oscar's ammo shreds the ghost like it it's clearly like smashing through it and it's it's electroplasmic essence is flying off its body and falling into the ravine and there's sparks flying from it, uh, and it it sort of uh, collapses on your side of the ravine, crawling forward, and you're like, dish, 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 reload, reload, dish, 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 blasting bullets into it. Um, but you 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 keep shooting it, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and it, it it lies still for a moment as you as you reload, like yeah, and then the the horror movie tropes are reversed, you know where. <laughs> Just, just as you turn away to walk away, it's like <sighs> jumps on me all, all like three D jump scare like, into the camera. Got a, a bullet blast through its face, you know, and it's like <sighs> yeah, flying at you. <laughs> uh, so risky. It does. It's going to do level two harm. Um, okay, going to ghost claw you. 
Okay. But it's trying to drag you. It's trying to drag you to the ground and and possess your body. Basically. Yeah, and I can try to resist it, right? Yeah, you can resist that. Yeah. Okay. Um. Uh, with resolve, though. With resolve. Okay, resolve the same as my prowess. Actually, my insight is the only thing that's that's three if I'm doing a, a resist. So, it's cool. Two dice. All right. Yeah, and I think I think uh, you can you can fully resist it. Uh, not just reduce the effect. You can actually like avoid the harm with this. Yeah, Cantor doesn't yes. doesn't jive with this shit because usually when you kill something, it stays dead. And mm -hmm. this is cheating. This is fucking cheater bullshit. Ghost ass fucking whatever. When I die, I better damn well become a scary ghost and get to kill someone. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. You, that's a... Ghost gets to cheat. I want some yeah. of that action on my We team. all have to keep Cantor alive. Yeah. Hello, it's a two and a four. All right. Uh, two stress and two stress is better than two harm. I'm oh. one away, one away. That's it. I got one left. Jeez. All right. It tries real hard to claw you to the ground and possess you, but you you re you resist it. Oh, I, I I clearly got to get out there and uh, do some just do some yeah RC protect I, moves. You you've heard all this. You've heard like yeah. Well, we've, see, we've seen the big the big bright green flashes, right? Like yep. this ammo was designed to signal the ghost. Exactly. Yep. And and I think they it smashes through the ghost and then they like Oscar was saying like it's like a flare it's kind of like tsh, 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 it sparks and like flutters through the air behind it. Mm -hmm. Well, everything that's in here is like done as far as I'm concerned. You know the switching yeah. guy like we might need him in an hour. The telegraph guy if he touches the H button he's gonna get his finger blown <laughs> off. Like I, I didn't I said we wouldn't kill him. I didn't say my guys won't kill him if he, or, or don't want hurt him if he messes with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna like when I see that i'm gonna run out and leave just a couple guys behind to kind of hold things down and uh, yeah i think i think we can even like retro that a little bit like Cantor has discharged this ammo several times in this exchange yeah so when you saw the first one like go arcing past like okay then you run out there so <laughs> around the time he's he's finishing this exchange of violence with the ghost like rc cool. if you, if you run full tilt you'll you'll get over to where he is yep um Yep, I want to get. I want to get in there. Uh, cool. Let's do that next then. Yeah, that's that's the next thing we see. I think is Cantor sort of nimbly uh, avoiding the ghost claw, stepping back, and it it arcs its claw through the air, and it's sort of like wavering. It's it's most of it's been blasted apart, so it's sort of a torso with arms now, um, trying to float through the air weakly, grasping forward and and lashing out. Nice. Stay away from me, creepy ghost. Adam, uh, I really appreciate your art skills there. So, because of Adam's art, I now <laughs> want to say, like, we're seeing the ghost, and I just ate the power pill, and um, <laughs> and I want to see it change color and go flashing for a second. Yeah. Um, do you want to? Uh, so, I'm happy to basically. I, I said I want to get out there mostly because, you, uh, as you said, you're down in stress, and I'd be happy to do a protect action. But yeah, that's right, pack. That's the right, Becky, man. Are you cool if RC comes in to stab this thing, or do you want to finish it off? Uh, you're there, so I think I could come just to protect or aid, but I could also jump on this thing and, and uh, stab it in the face. That is, that is to you, Mr. Haig. Uh, I, whatever. Save my ass. <laughs> All right, awesome. Awesome. How, how, how long is that ravine? Oh, like the, the, top, like the distance across? Mm-hmm. Uh, 10, 10 feet, 12 feet. That's kind of a long jump. A very, yeah, a very. I mean, for a long jumper, it's not a long jump. For RC wearing heavy gear in a gas mask. And running cool. through like knee deep. Can... Yeah. It's a lot Dash to ask. Piles. Yeah. All right. If you want to, you want to arrive like sliding down a ravine from overhead or something, you could do that. Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah, can I get there? So yeah, I want to slide down and um. And R RC is like. We see her as she's like coming out of the, um, as she's coming out of the thing. She's like wiggling her glove that she just put on. She's like wiggling it off, and she's like, "I gotta, I gotta swear, figure out a smarter way to do this." <laughs> and and it's like as we get there, she's got like one glove like like stuck under her armpit, and like her her sword like sliding it across her hand, and she comes like coming down. She's got like her hand like ow ow ow, <laughs> and her hand and her and her sword is like glistening with uh ghost killing blood, yeah. and uh and yeah, I I chop at the um I chop as, as I'm like stumbling down, still trying to hold the glove on my armpit, and uh, chop this. Chop this ghosty down. Yeah, you have Ghost Fighter. I do. I do. I have Ghost Fighter because of 
because of uh, Satara's blood, corrupted blood in in, in our city. Yeah, out That's in the sands, uh, outside the the neat and contained orderly ghost field of Duskwall, uh, when you when you cut your hand and and it hits your the blood hits your sword, your sword alights in blue flame. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, it's like <laughs> it's like one of those. It's like one of the like the what? the blood like one of the bloodborne like items. Where it's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, awesome. Like full on flaming blade out of nowhere. I did not know I got a lightsaber out of this power. That is super sweet. Or a flaming sword. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So you see me coming coming down. I think I dropped the glove out of surprise. Um, and uh, <laughs> yeah, blue flame. <laughs> uh. Yeah, and you drop onto. The, I think it's risky. Like this thing is fighting. You know, it's not oh, yeah. to be killed. It's like ah, I'm ready to fight. Uh, yep, but great effect because obviously, cool. Yeah, let's 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 mess this thing up. Yeah. Um, skirmish risky, great. <laughs> uh, uh, am I gonna lose a significant portion of the the um, gear? Like, is the glove important? I'm asking if I can swing all that for a devil's bargain. If I'm like, chuck that, forget about it, like lose part of the installation oh, of the gear. That's a devil. If, yeah, if you actually lose it permanently, it like breaks the seal on your environment suit. Yeah, because I had to take it off to like cut myself. Really? Yeah, but you, leaking environment suit is worth a devil's bargain. Okay, cool. I'll take it. Yeah. Leaking, leaking environment suit. Environment suit. Now there's a condition. Yeah. I only need it for a while, right? I'm I'm gonna make a clock and I'm gonna take it once. It's a four piece. Oh, man, and even with that, still doesn't do it. But uh, I hit it. No, it it does it. It does with great effect. Yeah. Yeah. It def it, you take it out. No, no, I just I didn't. It didn't give me the sex, but that's good. I like uh, complications. So. Yeah, you you stab the thing or slice it with the burning sword, and it it erupts in blue flame that. It washes over, like you've never done this before, right? You're, no. You don't realize that you have this power out here in the Deadland, and you're like, ah, and Cantor, you just see this like, <laughs> this huge gout of fire shoots up out of the ghost and washes over Arcee, pitching her into the ravine. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, motherfucker, how do you like it in that ravine? So you climb your ass out. It's hard. It's a deep ass ravine. Fuck. <laughs> Also, can you pick up my hat while you're down there? I left it at the bottom. I think I dropped my wallet too. In, in, inspired by chat, the the it's always sunny title card for this episode is the gang falls into a ravine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Rob the train, God. no problem. Ghost, no problem. Fucking ravine. <laughs> ravine yeah. That's it. We're done. <laughs> Terrain problems. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, no, it's it's harm. It's just harm. Uh, it's it's ghost exploding on you harm. Ghost explosion harm. Yeah, yeah. Level level two uh, explosion, fire explosion harm. Sure, sure. Uh, well, I haven't I haven't used much of my gear yet. So um, can armor work against this? Is it is this yeah. like electroplasmic or is this can? It normal? is, but uh, you are wearing a railjack suit. Which, oh happens to be a uh, good armor against that kind of thing so awesome mm. awesome mm. take your I'm armor a, box and you're i'm gonna take two armor boxes and will that cover me or yeah. will that yep okay cool will, that will keep you safe you don't awesome okay. yeah um it has there's like wires and stuff on the suit and this it's they look, fry <laughs> yeah it looks like fire but it's not it's like electrical or something in some way and the suit's built to like deal with this and it, it sparks and fries and grounds the electricity off your body and stuff and nice uh you see the the pieces of the armor like glow white hot and like crisp and fall off the shoulder piece and like, okay that worked yeah sweet <laughs> um <laughs> she's yeah. all fucked up now <laughs> yeah, and yeah then, like, and then in the in the silence that follows there's this like you're on your wrist yeah uh, yeah i probably like from lying on my ass i'm like you're you're leaking you're, 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 you're <laughs> i put my hand out like give me a fucking hand give me up here yeah yeah awesome i, I, I uh yeah <laughs> i look down like you know that doesn't look good and uh do you do you go to pick me up with your hand with no glove on it <laughs> Um, no, because that's the bleeding hand. Well, I got a sword in the other hand, yes. <laughs> okay, not that it, I'm not asking because it would hurt you, but I'm like, you just put out your hand and I'm like, where'd your fucking glove go, dummy? <laughs> you know, we are out in the I look around, well, like, whatever the I, fuck I, all this I, shit is. I, I look at the flaming sword and I'm like, I thought it was important. 
Come on, get up here. <laughs> hey, so first of all, A, where's your glove? B, what is up with your sword? C, are we fucking done with this place yet? I am sick of these ghosts. And D, there's a ravine back there. Don't fall in it. Just stay the fuck away from that. They should really put up a sign. Yeah, it's the worst. It's dangerous. <laughs> I, <laughs> I imagine fell in there two like, times. I imagine there's an old faded sign. It's like classic. <laughs> yeah, warning ravine. Just this old ass fucking sign there. It's like a thousand years old. <laughs> <laughs> ancient acarosi <laughs> we cut to 80 year old canter in the bar like deadlands i've been there <laughs> i've seen things you wouldn't believe <laughs> ravines <laughs> the size of ravines yeah i fell in a ravine or two in my day if you know what um, I mean. <laughs> Yeah. Well, at this point i imagine we're hearing commotion so i'm like yeah yeah, yeah let's get to uh get to the the action yeah we got that we got the bombs yet it. i killed all of those railjacks though that guy killed him that guy over there killed him that one me i killed him <laughs> we're like walking in yeah, we're like dead. that one there's a guy down. there's a guy who i shot but he didn't quite die and i'm like blam that one too got him <laughs> i mean i killed all these motherfuckers. There's just like one boot sticking out of the ground yeah <laughs> totally that trail of blood leads to a dead guy i shot him <laughs> it's no big deal that's what i do <laughs> Oh man! Uh, All right. Well, let's start with Oscar uh, gave the the gang the initiative to assault the whoever's inside the car. Yeah. Uh, let's start with that and see when you guys roll up what the situation is at the car. Cool. Uh, uh, how do you want to resolve that, John? I think it's you're gonna roll for your cohort, and I think the new sheets let you do that. I think you can just click on setting, click In roll letters. and find thugs, and it, I think it just does it. It like it knows your tier and automatically does everything. Whoa! It's supposed to anyway. So how many dice? Uh, it should it, handle it. It just handles it. Yeah, just click roll next to the fine thugs and it'll and it'll do it. Okay. Oh yeah, terrible terrible roll, but yeah, still. not not it, good. It rolled the right amount, but so yeah. yeah, so you you get the initiative and the thugs get their chance to attack and they they assault in through the the car. Um, but uh, so what, what, what you hear, Oscar, is like a fight start. You don't hear like throats being slit and bodies hitting the floor. You hear like ting, clang, bang, and a gun goes off and like there's a, there's a fight of some kind. Uh, and it, you know, if you kind of peek around a little bit. No, I, I don't peek around. I, <laughs> no I, 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 I look at everyone here, like the remaining people that haven't already gone in and started the fight, like stay watch guard kind of look and uh like you you see the 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 tattoos on me light up and i just literally just do that like I, i'm imagining this is like the, the the open door like i literally just jump up and like land down already crouched all my shit glowing uh what do i see oh wait you're you're jumping down into the car Fuck yeah i'm going into this fray because my team's in trouble they're about to get wrecked by probably some ace military personnel yeah, the 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 guard, the marine guard, uh, for the for the train, is inside there, and they've they know what they're doing. They've they've secured the muni munitions away. Uh, there's um, basically sandbags in the car, and they've repositioned everything so everything is neatly squared away and tucked back behind sandbags. There's no exposed uh, explosives or anything. They spent their time in here like doing everything exactly right being professionals uh, being professionals yeah. yeah exactly i have a question about the like uh since it's on its side yeah I the door is on its side yeah so like they're leaping down into it right and the guys are standing on like the other side door which is all which is closed right but but when are like literally like dropping down in to to get into the fight is that yep, yep. Oh, cool yeah and and they're they're just ready. They're ready to repel borders. Essentially, they've set everything up exactly right. And you can tell when you drop down, they they set things up so that there's no clear path directly to them. The, they've landed down. They've set up the sandbags and stuff. So there's like st stacks of sandbags and then empty spaces in between. They, they both have long pikes and they're just like expertly like stabbing the pikes through the holes at your guys. And your guys are like, oh, yeah. 
like barely protecting themselves. You expect guarded dudes with only two marines, and they're holding off the whole gang right now inside. Two the marines? Room. That's what's fucking us is two marines. Yeah, oh, yeah, well, it's a good thing. Imperial scum. Yeah, yep. it's a good thing both of both of the uh, not to be trifled with members of this group <laughs> yeah. have just rolled up. Are <laughs> <laughs> about to join the fray. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, it's, it's better than it's two marines, free. two gangs. Do you well, guys want? Do you guys want in on this piece, or or shall I take care of the situation? Uh, if you have a, if you have a way you want to do it, uh, yeah. go for it. But otherwise, like we're happy. I like I'm happy to to jump in there and and murder fools. So uh, that sounds good. I got a free use of a battleborn, and I've been waiting to not be trifled with on some faces. So. I'm out. Because I was going to say, I've got a free use of Warded, and I can Hurricane Force Wind to dismantle these sandbags. Yeah. It's I up feel to you. Like, I feel like that, out of context, sounded like you just called them a couple of sandbags. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to dismantle these sandbags. Got ah. Sandbags everywhere. You sandbag. No, I mean, sandbags. I, 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 I leave the initiative in, in your hands. If you're, if you're inclined to have us jump in, like I love the idea of going in there. Uh, totally take care of it, because... Yeah. Not to make too fine a point on it, but uh, my stress is precious, and I have a feeling that we're going to need it to get back through the electro barriers when we're driving the ship back into town. Because yeah, I, yeah. I assume we're going to skip the rest of the trains, but there's probably going to be a. And does anybody see you getting into to your? Uh, there like, definitely will be, and a use of tempest up your sleeve is not a bad idea. Yeah, quite sweet. So, um, Bellborn yeah, so, the shit out of that. Show yeah, us why you are. Oscar, you you drop down and you see that you're behind the gang, and they're they're not making progress. They're barely protecting themselves, and they they press back away from these guys in their pikes. One of them immediately uh, flips his his pike over. It's like a pike rifle. Um, it's got a, a spear point and a long rifle on it. He flips it around and then gets down behind it and like cocks it back. And then you hear like doom, 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 like boots on the side of the train car as RC and Cantor. Are so like, I, I, I think like uh, Oscar is glowing. He's got like those sigils that are shining even through like just the the gas mask and like the few places that you know his skin is like close to the surface. Mm -hmm. And he looks up and he goes, "Boy, lads, you're fucked." <laughs> and, uh, as he says that, you know, you you would imagine that there's gonna be like a massive unleashing of like a crazy supernatural power, but I imagine RC jumps down, and that's what I'm referring to. <laughs> Oh. Nice. He jumps down, and then the next fifteen minutes is Cantor awkwardly climbing a rope. Yeah, I got it. No, don't worry about it. I'll get. It. It's fine. Don't help me. Don't. Yeah. I got it. I, shit. <laughs> I got this. Yeah, I got it. It's fine. <laughs> we don't have climbing in school, and it's very flat. All right. <laughs> school where I'm from. You see, I'm a terrorist from a place you've never been to. <laughs> it's very far away. They don't. We don't have anything to climb there. It's illegal. Uh, get him, no, get him, Chad, I do not mean a spear. I mean a pike, and all pikes are not eighteen feet long. For fuck's sake, <laughs> um, they're they're long, but they're not fucking eighteen feet long. There are a million types of pikes. These are one type of pike that don't is. Don't you mean a glaive goose arm? <laughs> Maybe it's a bec de corbeau. <laughs> yeah, come on. A bohemian uh, ear spoon. Yeah, please. whatever you got. Just all. All right. Uh, it's okay because I'm gonna chop the head off of it and rip the shaft out of the guy's hand and then beat him to death with it. Yeah. Uh, so that's all that needs to be known about that pike. Yeah, I feel like this is like this is the group action skirmish. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. all y'all against getting up. Marines. Yeah, so I want to throw in some all y'alls worth. Mm -hmm. um, actually, I just realized we have blood brothers even without RC. So, uh, oh no, that's teamwork rolls. So yeah, now yeah. that now that we're doing on their own, they only get that. But right. as teamwork, they get plus one D. Yes. And when I'm leading them, they gain potency. Mm -hmm. um, so and, and armor, and armor. Yeah. So yeah. I think yeah, it should be all of us going in there and. <laughs> yeah, I feel like out. it's a fair fight, right? Like they're they're way more trained. They have a prepared position. You guys have way more dudes and Arsene and Cantor. Yeah. Uh, they've set this up exactly oh. to murder whoever comes in. Yeah. But instead of that happening, you get to fight them on equal footing. Uh, yeah, because worst, worst, worst your case. laundry list of advantages, they don't they don't murder you as you come through the door. Worst case yeah. scenario, if we can't fight them off, we just write off one of the three trains and just throw some fire in there. <laughs> <laughs> also an option. Yeah, Next like, train. we got that option. Like, there are we, three trains. These, all this the, is a testing train. Yeah, this one was the test. It's fine. Yeah. yeah. Uh, cool. Okay, so... 
the group skirmish. Um, it's risky and standard effect. Uh, yeah, I want to bump that up. I want to kill him fast. Really? You want to do desperate and great effect. Yeah. 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 Uh, I mean, again, like you're hovering at the one tick away from ghost attention. Everything, the faster you do it, the better. Yep. So. Yep. Yeah, I, I definitely want to do it with great effect. And 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 uh, representing that is like RC is like happy to charge one of them and just expect with this flaming sword that she'll just hack the the uh the head off of this bike and if that doesn't work out well then she might be impaling herself uh in the process but I'm i mean if you're de uh, the devil's bargain i'm hearing for rc is i take harm <laughs> yeah i get fucked up and i get a bonus die uh i was just referring as to how i made it desperate honestly oh okay that i was exposing myself to, to more danger that's i mean too. if you don't want the devil's bargain that's fine yeah uh, I mean, whenever you tell me a devil's bargain, I'm, I'm, I'm excited about it. I think, I think RC uh, letting one of them stab her to keep one of the pikemen busy uh, would, would be worth a devil's bargain, right? Because then they're like, you're having their forces by going like, chunk, ha ha, suck, suck this motherfucker. Yeah. They're like, no shit. That, that was um, yeah, sure. I'll take it. I haven't taken harm in a while. Harm's fun. What's, what level harm is it? Um... Well, shit, it's it's level three harm. Oy. I don't think I want level three harm for a... That's, I would say I'd armor it, but uh, A, it's a devil's bargain, and B, it's uh I would say if you want to armor it and take level two, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Um, you, have, you have armor left? No, I have Battleborn that I could use for it. Um, well, actually, RC, if you're, if you're going to... Uh, do if you're going to use not to be trifled with, and you're going to push yourself using Battleborn or whatever, you're going to get a plus one die anyway. Um, yeah, it's true. That's, that's not going to override the devil's bargain. It's better to just take a plus one die and not worry about it. Yeah, I mean, you're that's already going to have good effect and all that. That's a good point. Yep, you're right. So I'm using uh, my special armor to trigger uh, not to be trifled with. Uh, so uh, at, they have like these giant boxes or sandbags. Mm -hmm. And I just like knock one of them away uh, to get out, to get out the guys. Yeah, you like tear tear down their prepared position. That is that is my feat of 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 super nearly superhuman strength. Nice, nice, cool, uh, cool. Okay. So I I'm I'm happy to lead it, and we can okay. all, all our skirmish. Rolling, you're rolling skirmish. Cantor, you're in there too. I've got so much skirmishing that I can do. I'm I will, I'll just roll for the for the cohort. I don't think I can make it do a bonus die for your battle or for your uh, leader RC. So it's uh 46. Can, actually, uh, if you click yeah. on the cohort role, it asks how many bonus dice. That's the only thing what? you get. Yeah, nice. it's slick. I think this might be this might be the best designed character sheet in World 20. This is the best like character. I feel yeah. like it's looking at all the options and stuff on it. It's crazy good. Yeah, it's incredible. All right. All right, I'm I'm rolling for the cohort. Uh, you guys are on skirmish. Oscar, are you skirmishing? I don't or feel like I need to at this point. I, I think that I trust RC and Cantor to get this. Yeah, this I'm, I'm mostly here as like either in an advisory or like this the shit what we take or to protect against something getting exploded capacity. Yeah. Okay. And I'm rolling. I'm rolling my whole my whole skirmish right. Yep. Yep. Uh, and plus one because it's desperate. Per, um, yeah, that's right. Because yeah, I'm, it is a desperate roll. Dear devil. Don't forget your XP. Right. All right. Well, I got. Oh my god. Well, oh, fucking sweet. All right, let me get up in this. <laughs> RC Keel, everybody. Enter. Can, can you compete with RC? Who's I'm better? Just, Who's I mean, better? I'm just gonna make an ass of myself here. <laughs> ah. oh, right. I'm, in, I'm. I'm in the middle. I'm. I'm better than our cohort, but not as good as. Yeah. yeah. Slight. Actually, no. I guess I'm slightly oh, yeah, worse yeah, than the cohort by one point. Slightly worse. Enter's <laughs> last. God damn it. <laughs> I'm having a real bad day. <laughs> Sorry. It's, uh, God, that's hilarious. It cracks me up because this whole adventure started out with you going, I can't say anything. I know. I'm out of my fucking idiom. I can't. I got a stormtrooper helmet on. <laughs> it's not fair. I keep shooting near them. <laughs> wow. Cantor is not the star. Everybody. It's, the wrong, it's the wrong prescription on the it's lenses. The wrong. <laughs> RC, yeah, you're the climbing. 
Um, this was for all the marbles. You were like, no, fuck it. I don't want more ticks on my leaking suit. I don't want more ticks on ghosts. Yep. I can take these guys out. What do you, and, and to some extra benefit apparently. So what, what do you, t- you tell yeah. me about it, Sean? <laughs> uh, well, I think, I think, uh, RC, I think, uh, like we've, we've seen, you know, cause part of this is teamwork. Cause like we, we've seen them work together, like RC coordinates with them and Cyclops end up, end up, ends up, uh, Cantor, I, I want you to describe how you like, like, we'll each take out one of them. I think that's that. Uh, uh, Cyclops like grabs his gun and like yards to the side and RC just takes one of these massive uh, boxes that he thinks is like immovable and just like s- slides out of the way and it scrapes against the bottom of the, 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 the car door and like chipping wood and metal, uh, sc- scraping on metal. And then uh, lunges in and takes this flaming blade and, and uh, you know, b- before the guy can even uh, prepare himself just runs through his chest and we just see like this flame erupting out of his chest even though it's not technically having any ghost effect on him it just looks cool it still looks cool yeah 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 <laughs> i mean i i feel like based on how cantor has been performing today it's just awkward and like like i shoot at him and he ducks and he shoots at me and i like barely get out of the way and i jump on him and like rolling around on the floor like I'm punching him with my pistol and trying to get the other one. And he's like, grabs it and pushes it away. And I shoot the wall and I drop it. I pull out another pistol and I shoot that one near him. And like, we're just rolling around. And eventually, I managed to get the gun and like, you know, he's got his wrist on it. He's like, slowly pulling up his face and I just go bang and I like shoot him. And uh, and then he just stops moving. And I look around like, can you see that? And then I look over at you and I'm like, yeah, <laughs> I got that guy. <laughs> and the, the last like, five seconds of that everyone else is done fighting yeah. and they're like they're just watching this like Fuck the God. <laughs> yeah right because no one wants to get in the middle of it because <laughs> yeah it's not a good scene here. and then i'm just standing there at the end just like breathing really hard like <sighs> okay all right let's get out of here <laughs> I, got that guy. I, I, I think that that's when oscar actually standing there goes like uh two more trains <laughs> listen man i gotta deal with one fuck train at a time all right Let's unload this one, because uh, we're we're we've got all this stuff, right? And like, yeah, yeah I, I I think that unless John says that things take more time or whatever, I feel like cinematically we've got this situation in the bag. Yeah, 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 yeah I think so. Um, I would I would even say maybe for an extra benefit from the crit here. Uh, Oh right, we didn't take the. the you guys do this. Back. You do this very quickly, and then we we like cut to the the gang is like moving the last bit of the munitions um, off of this this uh, out of the car, and the the second train is already like there, and you're you're loading stuff onto it, and we see because it's like moving forward in time, but because of the rap rapidity with which you took out the marines. Um, everyone's in position and maybe we see Oscar like give everyone the sign and everyone like d- disappears. They Everyone hides and the, the wave of ghosts come in and drag the marine bodies and the railjack bodies off the train and carry them off into the Deathlands like feasting on them <sighs> off into the dark and everyone's like all right cool. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Got like, it. Go, go back to work. Um and and the, and so we we get this rapid cut like we were saying we don't want to do this for every train it would be bo- kind of boring, um, but you know what you're in for, you set everything up you know the marines are on board for the other cars so you've got this system where you've like set guys in the right positions and sure Bill with his rifle and you're like giving the signal and they open the doors and everyone shoots and you know nice. well and at this point also like do one of these marines one of these marines must have the key to have gotten out or something like that oh yeah yeah that's true so yeah. like now we're not having to like pry bar it in like now we have the key to get into the next one assuming the keys are the same for all of them i don't know yeah probably they it, like if something goes wrong one of the marines sh- the one of the like the lieutenant or whoever should should have the means to open the doors so yeah uh, among the marines you probably find a, a key there weren't just two on the train by the way there were the two survived the crash yeah oh okay so yeah you can you find a key that, that's fair um cool. so let's let's jump ahead to everything's in order uh, i've made i've made a point of finding some kind of like like marking like paint or something and and written some kind of pro scotland like slogan on the side of the train 
Nice. Yeah. Friskov. Yeah. Friskov. Totally. Yeah, yeah totally. just like in huge letters. And I'm probably doing that as everybody else is like finishing. Nice. Uh, RC's got something kind of weighing on our mind um, at, before they like wrap up, which is the uh, she has to make this decision about like whether or not the um, her the ruse worked on the the switch operator and the telegraph operator. Yeah, and if the ruse worked, I guess they can live, and if it didn't, they can't. Um, and there's a little bit of like, should we just kill people for no reason? Like, obviously, we had to kill everyone who's in our way, but. These guys aren't in a way. Um, do I have any sense that they are unconvinced that we're Scovlin independents? Did any of them, you know, give me a signal that maybe they didn't think we were who we said we were? Could they blow our, our cover? Uh, this was all pretty convincing. Um... People like this don't tend to be suspicious for no reason. Like if you show up yeah. and make a big deal out of who you are, like he has no reason to be like, what if they were just pretending to be scove terrorists? Yeah. Right. Like, no, they're, yeah. he, I mean, chances are pretty good. He's going to be like, yeah, that's, that's who they were. I'm going to report that to the authorities. I think so. I, I can't. Yeah. If if that guy had been a Scovlander, like he yes, would have totally. he would have seen through your accents and stuff and realized something was up, but he wasn't. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I I was gonna make you study too, maybe to see, but I, I I don't think so. I think okay. I think on it for a long hard moment of like, do we cover our tracks? If that just means killing two more people that like we're just doing their goddamn job. No, I think we can let this one pass and and. And, and and I don't mention it. I, it's it's not like RC's debating this out loud. She's just kind of looking up at the thing, and then at the end, I give him like the thumbs up of like you can turn your damn lightning barrier back on. Yeah, when when you guys got the you got the cards, uh, the the carriages like connected to one of the locomotives, and you backed it up back onto the tracks, and um, have have like made sense of these controls. Uh, you don't have to go crazy fast or anything, so you're kind of just messing with them a little bit to see how they work. Um, you give them the sign, and and inside you hear this like chunk clunk, and the generators go, and a couple of things spark, and nothing happens, and then they do it again, and two of them or three of them like, and they keep working on it and trying to see, um, the if they can kind of start this thing. Yeah, the shittiness of Duskwall technology is gonna. It's gonna kind of here. I'm just gonna make a fortune roll for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As you're as, as you're leaving, uh, you 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 see them do that several more times. You don't see the lightning barrier turn back on. You see it like try and fail over and over again. And as the trains are pulling out, the darkness covers the land behind you, and you see them <laughs> like not not turn it back on. Oh. Uh. Maybe they can figure it out, but it's not. It's not looking good. Yeah, there's a long list of whose problem that is, and we're not on it. <laughs> yeah. You know, if this was any other game, I would have probably stayed to help them fix it or done something so that it looks like accidentally it kicked on with whatnot. But uh, this is Blades in the Dark, and we're not good people. And I think yeah, we're fuck these lord. It's yeah. Good. Nah, I mean, RC does feel a little bad about like I made all that work of not killing them, and now. Well, well, Listen, I, don't know. I, I guess that's kind of goes. moral justification is fine for Batman. It's good enough for you. You didn't kill them. The horrible ghost killed them. Let's move on. Yeah, for legal purposes, it is the sea that kills you, not <laughs> exactly. Yep, yep. No, it's not, I mean it's not a death sentence. They're railjacks. Like they, they may yes. Yeah, and we left them with our gear. And and to be fair, like uh, she's not bemoaning that i mean i i as sean i'm kind of like thinking about it but she, rc is not like yeah like bugging anyone she's just kind of looking at it as we're as we're going away Thank well you. i mean they can sos and other stuff too they have a chance it's <laughs> well so they can <laughs> SOS yeah, north. it's fine yeah those trains are only a day away they're fine they're totally fine uh 
so yeah, I think, I think all that's left, <laughs> they have a, yeah, they have a broken pump trolley. That yeah, that's it. right. The pump trolley. That'll save. The thing is, these guys get their own side story now. Like the, the harrowing tale of survival and, and stuff after being attacked. Yeah. That's like, man, they're going to win an Oscar for that shit. Yeah. The yeah, Severosi yeah. turns out to be an old silver nail. You know, he's. That's right. Yeah. Goes, yeah. goes killing Severosi. And... It'll be fine. It'll totally all be right. fine. I'm gonna have to write a, a quick start playset. Like you're 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 the survivors of an attack in the Deathlands. You yeah, have a right. probably <laughs> you have <laughs> two environment suits. Yeah, it's a new uh, it's a new parsley game. <laughs> you're yeah. in, you're in the desert. That. There is a pump trolley here. Start lightning barrier. Exactly. <laughs> the lightning barrier doesn't serve. <laughs> the exits are nowhere. Sparks and fails. <laughs> Perfect. I love it. Look, it takes, switchboard. It takes yeah. a long time. <laughs> all right uh, um, yeah i think all that's important here as we're wrapping up for the evening um the last bit is getting getting the train and its munitions through the lightning barrier into the city uh in such a way that it doesn't that, like the people who run the trains and stuff don't notice that or or have some means of causing you problems right you want to and you've planned for this right yeah. this is all Presumably there's a flashback or something where you do, you're not just like, I hope this works and you're driving a train in. Like this was part of the initial plan is getting the train back. Into the world. And now we're seeing what that was. Like how, how do you, how do you get the train through the lightning barrier, stop it halfway across the bridge and then dump everything on the boat to, to move the stuff. Uh, what is there stopping us from turning off the lightning barrier? It's just so I understand what the, the challenge is. Uh, it's, turning well you have no means of turning it off from out here like in in a normal way like you there's no controls to do that um you oscar may have some way of doing that uh that's separate from the proper controls of the lightning barrier but um otherwise the the train itself has a mechanism on the front that allows it to slow you slowly drive the thing up in some way and it interacts with the lightning barrier in some way that lets you through but there's a there's a person that is like in charge of doing that stuff and would be aware of that going on if you actually show up and blow the whistle and do the switching and do yeah. the proper means of going through yeah can uh so the two questions that i have is well um so i assume that that person's in the tower and he's like looking out onto the death lines from some like high vantage point right but everything's um, everything's scheduled and the trains signal him when they are coming through. Yeah, yeah and we can know. just kill the lights on our train, and they'd never see us coming. In this, in this, you, you know, that that is a thing you could do. But then you just run into the lightning barrier without. Right. That's not know, a problem. Uh, the question that I have is: Is the bridge where we're dropping these boxes off far enough that we can? That we can... Yeah, on the on the map. Uh, I don't think I have. I have the other map loaded right now. So it's can, fine. Just, just is it that, far enough that it's, it's not? It's a very be... long bridge. Uh, cool. So, uh, so like, if we stop with the lights off, it's not like it's easily visible from the tower where the guy's like, "A uh, boss, a ghost train just came through with lights off, didn't blow up, and now they're standing on the bridge, and I'm seeing them lower boxes. What do you want me to do?" I mean, I think it depends on how you get through the barrier. If if it's a, an explosive light show, then they would definitely be like something's going on if it's not that then they wouldn't it's pitch dark uh, i see i see so i think i think what's going on is i'm going to push and i'm going to you tell me if i have enough juice so maybe this is impossible i don't know but i'm going to drop down as desperate as i need to to basically just do the 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 effect where i bend the barrier as i needed to to yeah okay is that a thing uh, I can do where I can part it just so that we can slip through? How hard is that? Devil's, and I mean, devil's bargain and like let in now. a bunch of other scary shit and dust girls <laughs> plagued by horrible ghosts. I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, chaos. <laughs> um, we, uh, we've seen this before that, uh, we, uh, that, that Oscar can do this. That he's like, he pushed the barrier out a little bit when you went and got your familiar. Yeah. I you would got, say this is a much much. This is like, like the thing is that there's a vast difference between bending the barrier large enough for a 14 year old boy to step through and yes. bending the judge, barrier enough for judge a train. me by my size. Do you size <laughs> matters not? Pardon, do pardoning the curtain, pardoning the curtain uh, to let a train through. Hey, here's the thing. Uh, this is the thing you can do, and 
as part of the plan because the train is designed to go through the barrier when it's on. It has it has special stuff on it that can that can interact with the barrier slowly as you slowly drive through. It can safely redirect some of the energy and stuff. If you were doing this by yourself and wanted to make a train sized hole just using Tempest, I think we would have to say that's out of your league. You can't really do that. But you can use the trains, whatever it's got. It's made to do this. It's not made to do it at speed in the dark without the guy. In Plus, the we have a gang of adepts. Yeah. yeah. I was yeah, about to say, scale I have. Yeah. So I think, I think what that means, though, is that you're, it's, it, it's obviously going to be desperate. You're channeling like a ton of power. Um, and, and you have to channel it through the train. The train can, can like carry the load of the energy, presumably. Um, so whatever goes wrong is going to happen to the train. Uh, Got it. You have to put, you have to like, you're not bending the thing open and it's mm. just going through. You're like channeling the power through the systems of the train that are built. Right. And try we're specifically to trying to do it discreetly. So that exactly. This giant without, electric. without some huge light show or some crazy thing. Yeah. Um, so, so can we do that? You can, you may attempt it. This was part of the plan all along. Oscar yes, obviously. apparently convinced all you guys that this, this was fine. And charging the lightning barrier in a train is a thing we can do. Yeah. Yeah. Electrifying a train carrying explosives. Yeah, it's fine. It's <laughs> totally fine. It's good. Uh, We're going to be okay. Uh, you take lethal harm and I'll explode. Um, do you, so you're going to get your co the cohort. They're going to give you a couple dice. Do uh, you they're want to give me effect for scale? Oh, you don't want them to roll as part of a teamwork action, group action? I mean, there's no reason why they can't. They can do both. They can give you scale and be part of the group action. In the group action, yeah. Yeah. And do you, want, do you want one more die with a chance of stress? I don't know where your stress is sitting. Cause... No, my stress is very high. Okay. So, no, I do not. Okay. So this is a group action with the adepts and Oscar? Yep, yep. I believe so. And yeah. Oscar, you're leading it? Yeah, I have to because they don't have a stress pool. Yeah, no one else is. Yeah. Well, I could, uh, if you want, I'll lead it. You have one stress left, Sean. <laughs> no, I know. I'm good. I only have four stress. Oh. Well, Sean. you have you have a tune. You could do it. Yeah, I have Sean. a tune. Sean, I have a familiar. Okay, cool. This All is right. my I'm, moment to shut. Yes. I, I, how did I say at the door? I'm good. I got this. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Yeah, no, you've got it. Sorry, right. Oscar. I'm just, at the, uh, I'm just in the back looking at all of these explosives we have and thinking about the <laughs> thousands of people I would like to blow up. <laughs> I'm making a list. I'm like, how can I get all of my enemies in one place at a time? That, yeah, there's a there's okay. rose tower. Let's just blow it up. Yeah, exactly. Power in here, and there are, there are uh, cannon shells for the ship that are like as big as you. <laughs> you I'm could you could shoot like, yourself so hard right now. Like I'm just like, <laughs> this is yeah. the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Yeah, right, so let's do this. I'm gonna roll for the weirdos. You're gonna roll. So, yeah, I think Oscar puts his puts his hands on the pipes and exhales. Uh, and and as he does, like the 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 train starts thrumming, and uh, he checks the speed. And as they're coming in, I'm gonna make my roll. So, would you like to go first, John? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hence this. Uh, our adepts too. Um, I don't get any bonus die. It's just my yeah. I don't. Okay. Here we go. Hey. That's a good start. That's a very good start. <laughs> Woo. Yep. Take oh. the pressure off. Nice. Woo. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Awesome. Woo. Wow. Yeah. So I think it's I think it's flipped. Oscar like channels and like leads the adepts, but we see them for the first time, like instead of looking to Oscar and 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 like helping you. They all bow their heads and and touch the sides of the train and do something in unison. They speak in in whispers, uh, and we see like the their environment suits kind of lift off their shoulders and this electrical buzz fills the air. And then we we cut up to the the tower at this lightning barrier near the bridge and this worker is up there like drinking his tea and. Can I uh, so? Out. Do I need to use the lightning half of Tempest to do this? Because I was doing this as a straight attune roll. No, a straight attune is fine. Uh, in which case, I do get a Tempest benefit. And I would like to add as a benefit yeah. that a, a, a super heavy fog rolls in. Oh, okay, yeah. That, yeah. Uh, and that nice. helps us slide better, through. Sure. So the guy isn't like, wait a second. Yeah. It's just Deathlands fog. Awesome. You know, like we have in the mornings. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. it, it comes rolling in. 
and he, he kind of squints out into the fog and we see like the condensation on the windows there and then beads of water come rolling down and he's like uh, sips his tea and then down below there's this and the, the barrier is just like <laughs> and the train nice. through is the train just like sparking like crazy? I mean, I know we hit it, but like yeah, I can... the, the front like the it's it's not a cow catcher. I don't know what you it's a ghost catcher. I don't know what you call it, but um, some it, kind it of has, a ghost buster. Yeah, it has uh-huh. this metal uh, thing on the front with it's called the device and wires, and it's it's glowing super white hot on the front of the train. And as you're getting across to the front of the bridge and or to the middle of the bridge, it slowly it comes to a stop. In the, in the pitch dark, uh, lit by the glow, the front of the train is like slowly cooling. and, and... That is so, so I, awesome. I, I, right before we start unloading all the boxes and lowering them to our boat, I think that just the one thing that happens is Oscar turns around and actually gives like a nod of respect to the adepts. Because uh, this is kind of, as you mentioned, it's the first time that they haven't just basically been desperate and cropping up and doing their thing. This is the first time they've actually like proven themselves in this, this sort of Yeah. Thing. Yeah. They're they 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 definitely there's they're very serene when they're doing it, but then afterwards, especially when you give them the nod, they're all just like oh, <laughs> we did it. Clapping each other on the back and like, like that was yeah. awesome. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Uh so yeah the boat's there and we see like the cables go down and 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 winches and um Lock and tackle get put up, and everyone's like hand over handing ropes, and all the bags of powder and shells start being lowered down. And the score comes to its conclusion. Uh, can uh, I can I do one last thing before yeah. everything's said and done? Uh, so obviously we're not going to like blow up the train or drop the bridge or anything. So I think that Could Oscar have. like turns on a valve just like right before all of us leave, and this like ghost train with nothing on it comes like creeping into the station oh nice yeah just kinda... like some odd hour of the morning right like yeah late yeah yeah it just slowly like hits the crumple uh, spring things there like it gets caught at the station nice yeah that's cool there's yeah some, i mean some, that... like sandbag that's sitting on the accelerator just ever so <laughs> one of those fucking sandbags you killed earlier well accelerators on trains aren't like this they're basically like valves where you increase or decrease pressure. oh right so you just, just crack it open kind of like you would in a bathtub open. yeah you know just a tiny trickle nice yeah uh roll roll to not blow up the train and bridge uh success yeah good job good job uh sweet God, it's going to be so, so we're going to have to have a conversation about giving away all these explosives. <laughs> I just like, Cantor really just wants to be like, can't we just like put them somewhere we don't we like people? We got Cantor's room and it's like and filled with like bags up? of gunpowder that he's lying on. Oh, God, like I just, just like dribbling like stop on himself. Like, and I just can't <laughs> stop thinking about how big of an explosion we could make and how many of our enemies we could kill with this stuff. Fuck. All of them, Cantor. Oh, it would be so good. Maybe but those Skullander idiots have a good idea about blowing people up. <laughs> Cantor, you need a giant cannon to go with them. Right. No, right. You need the gun to shoot these A things. huge <laughs> gun. We could put it on in our base and then we could shoot at people. <laughs> we just stole the Paragon. Oh, my God. I've already done this so smoothly. Oh, boy. I want it so bad. <laughs> you bombs bombs for the throat of bombs. I really just want to, yeah, like, remember, remember the 5th of November here. I just want to <laughs> die fox some shit. <laughs> <laughs> People will never forget the time that Cantor tried to blow up Duskwall. <laughs> No. Well, there is there is a question here. It's just like how much did we get? We got a full load of munition for the Paragon. Is it so much that it's more than it would even make sense to give the grinders? Can we keep some of it? and you know fulfill some of Cantor's wet dreams i just feel like it would be such a good like we could we could like fill a warehouse with like dynamite underground and then invite our enemies there and be like you have to do what we say or we're blowing you all up oh my god i'm having just like Cantor's just so excited about all these ideas he's gonna have just, like, <laughs> dreams of like detonation it's gonna be so good yeah i think uh, I mean, obviously, you you would need if you if you're trying to pass this off as we stole all the music munitions, um, you 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 could steal a small part of it that would be enough to blow up a, a giant building. But 
Uh, <laughs> a small part of it. This feels fine. like a Conan adventure where you're like, all right, so there's a room full of treasure. Now tell me the one piece of treasure you want to take. <laughs> right, right, right. I, th- I think I'm, I, I think I'm comfortable with that. That we have a co- we have in addition to God, but what a what a show of force that would be though to like call the syndicate together and be like, no longer will the blue coats be a problem for us. And they're like, what are you talking about? You can't get rid of the blue coats. And be like, <laughs> look outside, and then boom, their whole fucking tower goes up. <laughs> oh god that'd be satisfying be like yes that's why we're in charge do as we say <laughs> blue coats Ooh. can you please give us the turf that we want no that's a good, Click. Uh, exactly if we can't have it no one can crow's foot Look, belongs to us you just blow the bridges oh, oh my lord <laughs> we're not blowing up crow's tower they're exploring the moon they're the first <laughs> astronauts that's right it's an exploratory just, mission. Jettison. Which, sometimes there's multiple. I didn't want their crappy old tower yeah. with its... Bon voyage, it, Crow's Tower. <laughs> with its, like, tiny stairwells that you can barely get up. Yeah. All 1812 <laughs> Overture starts playing. All <laughs> defensible and shit. God. Yeah, if you ever see Cantor with a conductor's baton... <laughs> no. Run! Yeah. Come up to the roof, Actually, everyone. No, no, nope. Popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> Adam blow the bridges and canter become Bane. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's a different accent, sorry. <laughs> sure. Yeah. You're wearing the collar. I was born into them. Yeah. Yeah. It's perfect. Oh shit. Oh my goodness. Um good crime everybody. Good criming. We stole the train. We stole all the trains. We, did it. we, stole- we have a we did lot it. of explosives. Yep. Do, the power of montage. Uh, got, got all the trains. It's magical. <laughs> we have a, we have some number. Yeah, I mean, it's we, I can't even fathom. <laughs> Our guys must just be. I mean, I'm sure Cantor is the pinnacle of this, but there can't be anything short of just insane rival, uh, ribald celebration. So I'm like, like we oh get an God. extra die and we're extra rowdy because that is what uh, War Dogs gives us. It's by the rules. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, and you're right, Chad. It's not just cannon shells and gunpowder for the ship. It's also it is to replace the munitions for the for the troops too. There's some there's rifles and bullets and stuff too. Yep. Grenades. They they did not expand all of the marines stuff on the ship. It's it's ninety nine percent ship cannons and stuff. But of course they there's personal weaponry yeah, in there. And for yeah. the for the goons in our crew. That might be that might represent uh, some weapons they can. Well, use. yeah, we I gotta mean, figure out how much we're gonna sell and all that. That's yeah, tier. Yeah. That's tier. What you say? Four, five, four. Yeah, tier four. Tier four. It's tier four. Oh, stuff. Well, uh, there could be some tier five stuff in there. Actually, I'll yeah. I'll go through and see. Oh my god, we yeah. could we could threaten we could threaten to blow up the district and then we could declare independence and this could be the <laughs> beginning. This could be the first part of the independent state of Canterburg, and oh my god, let's do it. Uh, I'm gonna make give him a crown made. It's perfect. You've already got an orphanage. The ne- next step, the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Declare sovereignty over this part of the Well, to, to be frank, the orphanage is not 100% built till probably next downtime. Yeah. So. We'll get That's it. That's true. And you'll have that extra downtime because, I mean. Uh, yeah. yeah, Chad, the Imperial military has tier five shit. They do. I, it, I was like any it. of it on the train? I don't know. I'm going to, I'll go through and see. Maybe it's possible. Yeah. Um, there are, uh, like, for a ship, there are definitely marine suits and boarding party stuff that goes on boats, because that's how oh work. Yeah. Canterdam. Canterdam. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Canterdam, where everything is illegal, because I said so, except what I say is legal, and that's for me. I can do whatever I want, and you can't do anything. <laughs> Everything's illegal except guns and drugs. <laughs> right, yeah, you want to get fucked up in whichever direction. Welcome to Dan. Welcome to Canterdam. Welcome to Canterdam. Smoke this drug, or you, or I shoot you. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, okay, I'll take. I'll enjoy the drug. <laughs> John, you say that like it's a joke, but that's, that's kind pretty cool. much how it works. Yeah, pretty much, pretty exactly. Much Listen, you got three choices: do the, do the drugs, sell the drugs, or I will shoot you in your face. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um. Uh. Do you want to do payoff or do you want to do that next time? Uh, let's do payoff and stuff next time. We can yeah. we can do XP if you want or we uh, if we need to wrap up. We're a little bit late, so. 
Uh, I can do it. I, I can do XP. Yeah, let's let's do XP. That'll be quick. All right, we'll do we'll do XP then. You wanna go first, Darcy? Uh, sure. I'll go first. Yeah. Let me pull it up quick. Uh, I just challenged with violence or coercion. Uh, I I did both of those things. I coerced people into doing the things that uh, they needed to do to make me not kill them, and uh, I also violently stabbed dudes. So I'm gonna take two for that. Straight up murdered a guy. Yeah. Um. I'm I'm gonna tick those off because I might I'm gonna push over some clocks. So we'll see. Uh, where that goes. All right. Um. Uh, you expressed your beliefs, guys. Heritage your background. Two for this, for sure. So much nautical so thing. Much. <laughs> Very uh, nautical. Or it, it, particularly with the telegraph, I think I thought, I thought it set, stood out. That way. was that was very good, and I'm glad that we remembered that and made that work. Uh, uh, I'm not with that too. That was that was great. You struggled with uh, issues from your vice traumas during the session. Um, I had one time where I was struggling with being cold and I was not sure whether it was the right thing to do to kill those guys or not. And I was really like edging on, do I keep my word? Do I let these people who didn't deserve to die, die? Or do I just kill them so I can tie up loose ends? And I definitely was a teetering on that. Yeah. Um, uh, I don't think lovers pleasure did not, did not go up. So yeah. Uh, uh, five, yeah. yeah. Cool, cool. Um, Oscar. Yeah, you want to do yours, Oscar? Sure. Um, let's take a quick peek. Scroll down to this one, sorry. Um, I already did my two desperate actions. Uh, did I address a challenge with knowledge or arcane power? Oh, oh, all goodness. kinds of, yes. Yes, <laughs> so um, much. So much too of that. Did I express my beliefs, drives, heritage, or background? Um. I, well, I think uh, one of the things we saw was your interaction with the, it was at the end was that we saw your interaction with the, um, with the rest of the crew and that like, there's like a, a shift of respect there, like where it, it, they're not just kind of, you're a bunch of flunkies that I taught a few things. And now I wouldn't say you see them as your equal, but I think that like you shifted to showing them like uh, more respect than we've seen in the past. So, like, I think that this is, yeah. It's your beliefs and, and, about and that. What I'm, what, I, what I'm trying to say here is just, uh, I feel like before this, exactly as you said, they were just some people playing with toys entirely too big for him. And this is the first time that, uh, like, even as students, I have shown them, like, yes, now you have become a true gang, at least in my eyes. And you're not just people practicing to try and be a true gang. Um, so, all right, cool. Uh, so that's, that feels like one. I think so. I yeah. think. Cool. Yeah. And then, uh, did I struggle with issues from my vice or trauma? Um, the only one that you I were will... super reckless. You were okay. super reckless. Come yeah. on now. You're like, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna break the engine if I just supercharge it. Yeah, I do that. The last airbagger. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Airbag. And also, like, hey guys, so here's the plan. Blah 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 blah. Then we come back into the city, and I do something magical. And we're... <laughs> yeah, we just like relied on your reckless madness. Yeah. So I, I think you should take two, two for that. Cool. Thanks. And that's it for me. Cool. Cantor Hig. All right. Uh, did I address a challenge with violence or coercion? That's yes. all I did. I was just like, <sighs> comic relief and gunfire today. Um, <laughs> That's right. Yeah, totally. Uh, <laughs> did I express my uh, beliefs, drives, heritage, or background? I made a point of of bringing up how often that I was like way the fuck out of my element. Like, yeah, you, you, you really showed how much of a city boy you yeah, are. Yeah, I was like, like I don't know really... how to climb shit. I don't. What am I doing out here? This is a joke. <sighs> All, all of the things that like normally Candy can do just fine. We saw you having that like diehard moment of like everything is difficult, everything is hard, yeah. uh, even when it shouldn't be because this just isn't your element. Totally. I, I rolled I my should... best. I rolled my best stat like a bunch of times and still blew it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Um, I think you say two on that. I, I saw that so much. Yeah, and then less less so. Like I don't think anything for vice or traumas because I wasn't I wasn't in a position to be unstable. Instability requires uh, that I have an opportunity if we had i think if i had had an opportunity to be present for the like oh you promised this guy he could live wow now he's dead thing yeah. maybe but uh yeah that's I was, true that's true that would have yeah yeah i yeah. was off struggling, struggling there, there was never a stable situation for you to unsta unstabilize, unstabilize. Yeah. it was all unstable the whole time yeah. we started on a pump trolley <laughs> right and that's and exactly and that's that's the kind of thing that i need to to get xp from that stuff so i got a, I got a few but uh, that's cool and i mostly like i'm one away from another point of something in prowess so so that's cool. Nice. 
Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, and the crew. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Uh, sure. Did we acquire product supply, execute clandestine covert sales, or secure secure new territory? Uh, so I guess the question is: Do we consider a ton of guns supply? <laughs> uh, we're going to use it for trading, but I, it's not. It's, I mean, we're going to hawk it of sorts. We're not going to drugs, but we're going to use it as barter for um, for for a deal. So I don't know whether, where where that falls. Do we do we consider those guns supply or not? Like, and I think the intention there is: Do we plan on selling them all, or are we going to keep them? Because if we're going to keep them, I wouldn't call them supply. But if yeah, we're gonna... I, I feel like it's not product supply because we're not arms dealers. We're cool. good. Next. <laughs> Next. Contend with challenges above your current station. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. <Yes. laughs> uh, that's we're good at that part. That's the thing we're real good at. I feel like too is yeah. what makes sense. Yeah. 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 That's. Yeah. <laughs> Bolsters your crew or develop a now, new Now, see, we did, we did this all under the guise of someone else, so we explicitly yeah. avoided... Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't think we'd get that. Uh, express the goals, drives, inner conflict, or essential nature of the crew. <laughs> yeah, we don't take no shit from nobody, and we will take on anybody. We don't care. We are the chihuahua that goes after the dire wolf. <laughs> like, uh, we do not know how small and inconsequential we are. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. We've got pretty big explosives right now. Well, what's, well, what's funny? What's funny is that we took on a much larger organization so that we could be equipped to get rid of a smaller one. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, we were like, "Well, these guys are tier two. Let's take on the government." So, like, you know, the Crips and the Bloods—they're fighting over South Central LA. Oh, the Crips just robbed Fort Knox. <laughs> That is effectively what you did. Yeah. Yeah. Well, those grinder guys seem like trouble. Let's let's break into the Pentagon. And this is when, <laughs> this is yeah. this is when we uh, so we're we taking one or two for gold stretch. I feel like I, I, I think that there was a lot of interplay between the people about who rescues whom, who trusts whom. Yeah. Um, there's some flashbacks with uh, you know Cantor and myself and showcasing yeah. that. A lot of the reason why Oscar lies to Cantor isn't because he thinks Cantor's an idiot. It's because he's convinced that Cantor doesn't trust him and his products. Um, and it's like, it's, it, I don't know. I feel like there was a fair amount of interplay between the group. I, I agree. Yeah. 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 And I think, I, I think Cantor and, and uh, RC also had like that, like, um, just after a boxing match where everybody like so tired, you're like falling down on each other moment of like, we kill the ghost. Now let's like get out of this damn ravine and like, like <laughs> get over and murder some other dudes. Like there was a, yeah, yeah there was a guy. <laughs> nice. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Oh, I'm All so right. excited to see what we do with the next one. We're going to have to like figure it out. Cause there, there will be, and I, I'd love to have a, a in character conversation about like, okay, so I know this was the plan, but let me <laughs> let me propose to you plan B <laughs> for blow everything. Exactly, up. the B stands for explosion. <laughs> um, so you know, in in the interim, uh, folks in the audience, tweet at me with suggestions. What would you do if you were in the blood letters and you had a shit ton of explosives? I'd love to hear it. Take and your you suggestions. Are you wanted to blow things up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, what what would you <laughs> blow up? Yeah, I would love I would love to have all of your suggestions. The, Actually, just to save time, chat, just just tell us what you don't want to be. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> the Iruvian consulate. Yeah, yeah. probably. Yeah. yeah. Ideally, I'll do it. This is how I propose. Like how I seal the deal with what's her face, where I take her up onto like a romantic dinner on the roof, and I find like whatever her worst enemies are, and I'm like, <laughs> "Let me show you how much I love you, my darling." Boom, and like blow up her enemies' heads. Exactly. Boom. Let me show you how I love you in the traditional way of my people by destroying things. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Anticor of Hire said, "Don't destroy all of John's work." Yeah, let's leave some dust ball to play in. Look at look at how much there's so much dusk wall left though. We have this tiny little even if we blew up the entire district, there's so much more. What's this what's this big building up here on the in the northeast? What building is that? <laughs> what is this? Can we blow what is this up? thing? Well it looks that looks explodable. The Lord Governor's <laughs> Palace, is that yes, the one? That guy. <laughs> Fuck that guy. She'd no, love, she'd love me for sure. Cathedral. I think that's the Church of the Ecstasy of the Flesh. Oh yeah, that's, that's Church yeah. of the Ecstasy of the getting your ass blown up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Good yeah. stuff. Man, this game yeah. is so much fun. I have such a good it's, time. This game is great. Thank you. Thank you for doing the train job. Uh, that was, that was uh, on. I'm glad. I'm sure you were going to go that direction, but I'm glad you did. A special, special kind of magic that, that arises from the chaos that we in, engage in here. Yep. Um, cool. Well, let's 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 say our, our goodbyes for the evening. I wanted to ask you at the beginning of the show, but this is a great opportunity for you to, to talk about it. Um, Sean and 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 Strash, your your other thing. How did it go? Because you were just getting started last time we last time we talked. Yeah. Tell, yeah. Us, tell us about that. It went great. Uh, I did two episodes of Blades in the Dark and Dialect, which were kind of like the test the test things, and then we just had our first game with Scum and Villain last Thursday, nice. and uh, Strash mean- ran twitch.tv slash actual play oh yes sorry and yeah twitch.tv slash actual. Gotta, gotta yeah gotta <laughs> um and uh yeah strush strush ran a game for our our for our space bearing scoundrels uh and yeah it was, it was good times um Ostrush, i don't know if you want to talk <laughs> scum villainy any but uh uh so uh for those of you that don't know scum and villainy is the space opera style hack very guardians of the galaxy ish uh at the moment because that's the ship they picked was somewhere between firefly and guardians of the galaxy and uh the it's, star dancer yeah it's uh it's good times it's gonna be running every other thursday and uh do we want to mention what's happening this thursday sean oh yeah let's do that too man there's so much cool stuff going on yeah so also on actual Emotions. play uh this particular thursday there's going to be a short side story for actually believe it or not blood letters nice uh, where we have a uh, what is it 10 15 years ago uh, 10, 10 12 years ago yeah 10 years ago roughly we're gonna actually have an adventure on the night sea with rc very young rc keel on the on board the Nightbreaker. yeah young, young, the young rc episode so uh, it was it was actually kind of amazing i was talking to sean was like i really want this to happen and i really want you to run it and john was like yeah i finally get to play my my game so so john <laughs> Arpin, he's gonna be some rando on the boat uh, uh he's gonna he's gonna be quartermaster harrington and uh, yeah, I'm gonna be uh harrington. so we're gonna we're gonna have we're gonna have some fun escapades and i asked them i was like what all do i need to adhere to canon and they were just like i don't know uh dream of night and stars in the sea and crazy leviathans and make it metal and so that's uh that's what it's gonna be so you just need yeah. to listen to the first track from Macedon's Leviathan, just <laughs> over right. and over That's a and great over. Suggestion. I'm just going to be spinning that just tomorrow. Just listen to Blood and Thunder until you can't listen to it anymore. <laughs> until you're bleeding. Yeah, from your exactly. Just think about how that ivory leg propels you. <sighs> yeah. So, a lot, so some f- fun stuff happening over on Actual Play. And uh, if you are a fan of Actual Play, and I'm sure you all are, and you're going to go and follow and uh, subscribe to them on YouTube as well. Uh, the shows so far are going up on YouTube. The last one, Scum and Villainy, I think all the pieces may be yep. up now. They are. Yep. Just linked in the chat. Very, very good session. And once you have done, followed, and subscribed, uh, and have watched that episode of Scum and Villainy, you will be very excited about that very cool hack of Blades in the Dark, and you're going to want to go buy it. And oh. <laughs> go over to Drive Through RPG, and you can get it for yourself and play Scum and Villainy at home. So go check that out. Drive through RPG villainy. Killer, yeah. killer stuff. Good, will, uh, good stuff. Um, I have one more thing to. Promote. I was gonna say, yeah, John, you got anything? Adam and I uh, next Monday uh, are gonna be playing uh, a one shot uh, on role play with our good buddy Jeff Robinson as GM. He is running a Warhammer 40k one shot for us, Dark Heresy. We're going to be inquisitors in a war band working for the emperor, putting down demons and psychers and other heretics. I'm, I'm so excited about the world and the players and, and I'm so unexcited about the game and I cannot wait. <laughs> I just can't wait to not Dark have Heresy. any fucking clue what I'm doing. It's, it's a bit of a mess as a game, uh, but yeah. I, honestly, it, I, it's kind of a lovable mess. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's cute. In its in its awkwardness, it, it I, I I appreciate all of its foibles. Uh, so yeah, as someone um, who like like you, John has played a bunch of like second edition Warhammer Fantasy. I'm like, oh, ballistic skill, weapon skill, like yeah. just all that janky stuff. But yeah, it's, it should be it should be super fun. Super fun. Uh, Total Biscuit is also in that, uh, and uh, Reese, a new a new a new dude nice. coming into role play. So we're gonna we're gonna rock some Warhammer. Nice. And you uh, you probably said it, but where where would this is again? Is this gonna be over on Roleplay? Yep, it's on Roleplay. 
uh, twitch.tv slash it me JP next, next Monday night. I'm sure we will all tweet about it. You can, you can find out about it there. It's, it's just a one shot. We're not doing a new series, but uh, you should uh, totally kill some heretics for the emperor. Yeah. yeah. I just want to talk in a bad British accent and call everyone brother. And <laughs> yeah, we'll make TB insane with our, horrible... yes, with our horrible English accents. It's going to be, yeah. Fun. Right. Well, after we've done all our good Scottish accents, this, this episode, uh, uh yeah. <laughs> That was super fun. Thank you for letting me <laughs> let me do that today. Um, Adam, uh, what about you? Do you, do you have do you have a thing? No, nah, this is my house. Y'all know y'all know where to find me right here. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, I'm uh, Adam Coble, twitch.tv slash Adam Coble, Skinny Ghost on Twitter. Uh, I run I run Hella Games. Um, you can find me so many Hella twice. Games. Yeah, you can find me twice a week, sometimes more at uh, twitch.tv slash Roll Twenty App. We're playing. The Sprawl and uh, working our way through uh, White Plume Mountain, uh, doing 5e D&D, &D, and uh, over at uh, twitch.tv slash itmejp, uh, where I am running a very wacky space adventure game called Nebula Jazz. And uh, That game, of, game is so much fun. I love a, every character. I love... Oh my god, it's yeah. It's anyway. ludicrous. It's just I cannot believe we haven't even done ten episodes yet because <laughs> so much happens. Like yeah. it's crazy. Yeah. So so yeah, running that and running Court of Swords. Um we're we're finishing up an arc of that. So you know, if you want more RPG stuff from me, you know where to find me. Go do that. I gotta say, Adam, I today was the first time I actually paid attention. Uh the new schedule thing that you have on Twitch where it shows the it's so upcoming better. thing. It's so cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So Twitch, if you if you haven't seen it already, Twitch has a uh, like an event schedule there that you can use now and it shows all the upcoming I'm using it for my schedule, it shows all the upcoming streams, uh what I'm playing, when I'm playing it, little graphics. And if you uh are used to websites that don't show it in your time zone, the Twitch event schedule actually shows it in your time zone and also also includes a link to add it to your calendar and to um, remind you, like you'll get an email reminder like an hour before the show if you want to. So it's, yeah, email. it's killer. It's, yeah. It's, it, it beats every other scheduling thing that I've seen. Whoa. My, where... my website just redirects to it now, my schedule website. That's how I found it because I always <laughs> go to your schedule page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's so, awesome. Yeah. Definitely, uh, definitely check that out. Uh, oh my cool. god, that's gorgeous! Yeah. Well, we'll uh, we'll be back with more blood letters uh, sometime between now and forever. the end of forever. Uh, <laughs> so we've been pretty good about about making this happen. So um, we'll we'll get yeah. that scheduled, and I will put it on the aforementioned events page uh, as soon as we have it uh, figured out. Um, thank you so much for coming and watching. This has been episode sixteen of Blades in the Dark: The Blood Letters. Um, see you next time, everybody. Yeah, at all. Bye. Bye.